Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Rula here and today we have another whole video as you probably can tell by looking at those boxes right here. And all the stuff I picked up here essentially is November haul. I know we in December, end of the month, holidays are already here. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot of the stuff is from Black Friday. I did uh, do quite quite a number of uh, purchases on Black Friday. So here they are. Just waiting for other things to accumulate a little bit even in this month. But yeah, it's time to get into this and get those unpacked. Let's go ahead and start with the obvious thing that's already unpacked. I couldn't wait to get this one open. I opened this one a couple days ago and it came from, I'm assuming he's a subscriber, fellow subscriber. He contacted me and told me that he has a very special kit. So we have it right here, Volvo Brick event kit from 2023, which of course, you know, I mean, it's kind of far out. I mean, I didn't go to Volvo Brick. I'm in Europe, this was in the States, so I missed on this, essentially, and unlike 2022, uh, what were exclusive kits, they were not on Brickazimo, and um, I also missed one on Close Expo, <laughs> there was only one available, I was at that expo, but it's all good, And but then thanks to, again, um, to the subscriber, uh, his name is Rico. I mean, at least he goes, that's where he goes on, on his uh, YouTube channel or Instagram. So he contacted me. He told me if they had one available. And uh, I'm really thankful for him. So he was able to uh, sell this one to me. So finally got this one. Really happy about that because I do have a diorama. A North Africa diorama. I'm definitely going to be building this up and including it into my mock diorama. So hopefully it's going to look good. He also ended up getting this Brick Arms exclusive also, um, well, brick exclusive uh, set of tw uh, twin Vickers K. Uh, so you also end up sending those to me. Very cool. Actually, while I add it, maybe I'll have a. I haven't even looked at them, but let's go ahead and maybe have a look at uh, those while while we add it. Why not? You know, let's do it. So this is what it looked like. Very awesome looking. As far as I understand, they were not released previously, and then at Wall Brick, this is the first time that everyone could could purchase them. So I don't know if maybe you can still buy it on Brick Arms. All right, let's go ahead and move on to other stuff. So here we have something I was already kind of opened up. The, the envelope was not looking too good, so I popped it open. And we have another envelope inside of this one. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up. This is from Black Friday. This Light My Bricks had a really good sale. I think they had up to 40 or 50% off of some of the kits. But this one, this light kit I got. Let's go ahead and get that one opened up. This one's 40% off, or maybe it was 30. I'm not too sure, but either way, this is something I want to do. I'm probably gonna be doing tonight, as you know, we have Christmas already here. So uh, this is basically a winter holiday train uh, light kit, and for the uh, number one power functions, power functions one, not the second one. Although they have a option for uh, the new power functions as well. So this is the kit. I will be hopefully open this up. Give you a quick glance on this. Essentially a bunch of lights uh, to make your holiday train nice and pretty when you run it. So, so this would look good on your like on the Christmas tree or something like that. Anyways, so this one out of the way as well. Let's go ahead and hop into least exciting stuff really quickly. Just get those out of the way. Uh, what we have is uh, we have some Lego pick a brick. Uh, we are gonna get to Brick Mania, I promise. <laughs> because something I am looking forward to as well. Let's go ahead and do the pick a brick just really quickly. Let's see what I got from Lego. Maybe I'm not even gonna, some of the stuff I'm not even gonna probably take it out of the, the bag itself. Have some printed tiles, we have some cappies, some hats. And I'm actually looking to work a little bit on this. I think I mentioned it multiple times. <laughs> Uh, looking to do a Civil War train mock and I needed some pieces and here we have those and um, again, uh, the, the way the Lego does it, they do a pick a brick in the sense of that the stuff it's a uh, bestseller, it's not bestseller, I think this is not the bestseller stuff that came in a little bit later, let me get the invoice out. Alright, so this is the Lego bestseller stuff that came in first, let's go ahead and dump some of the parts. Once again, this is mostly for a mock build I'm trying to do related to the train. Also some useful pieces, maybe if I'll be using or building up maybe some kind of trenches. Uh, so I thought some of those printed parts are really cool and could be very useful um, for that kind of mock purposes. And I am also uh, building up some Napoleonic era minifigs, which we'll get to those in a second as well. I think there should be some of that 
torso situation in this hole as well. So then the, the legs are definitely uh, for that. Once again, some cool printed elements with the wood grain, I think could be very useful for mud building. Give you just a little, show you those here really quickly. Yeah, pretty much that. Some printed elements as well that, you know, maybe I was interested, I could have used uh, for some mud building. Even that, um, that base I built <laughs> that I posted today, this video. Um, and then I, I got some of those like here and I feel like those could work as a, maybe a vents on a tank in case you're building from like digital instructions from Bookmania, I think those could be really useful as well. I know other companies like TMC sell those separately, but on Lego, I think they're a little bit cheaper. So this this is, uh, I think, a dollar or something like that, maybe a little bit less than that as well. All right, so that's pretty much covers. Oh, yeah, I, know I got some a dual dual printed legs, which are which are pretty cool. Definitely, definitely going to be used on a Napoleonic era builds. So yeah, so here we go. Uh, that's pretty much the Lego. So let me go ahead and uh, put that away so it doesn't clog up the table. All right, so I got all the Lego bagged up. So put that aside for a little bit. Let's move on to other stuff that I got. So here we have our hole from United Bricks. So let's go ahead and pop that up, that one open. All right, so we got this one open up. Let's go ahead and get, ooh, yes. This is exactly what I was looking forward to. All right, so here we go. This is also here. So yeah, United Bricks, just a little advert for them. And here we go. They did a very nice job packing this up. So I picked up a bunch of standalone torsos because they didn't have a fig at the time. So I, I know United Bricks supposedly have to, will restock the Napoleonic era uh, fix, but at the moment they only have the torso. So what I've got is, let me go ahead and pull those out really quickly. And I also got some heads as well, miniature heads. Uh, so we get those out. So we have uh, Austrian, we have the French, we got a bunch of British, so we have five of those. And again, if you go back to uh, much the legs and everything else is for that, that I picked up on Pick a Break, it's, it's going to be exactly for this purpose, for the torsos. And then we have uh, the Russians right here, so uh, the green ones. I was kind of waiting for them to restock the Russians, so they finally did, so I end up uh, doing a pickup. Uh, also got some of the Napoleonic era historical kind of looking heads with the mustache and the chin strap that those head have. And then a couple of those with the sideburns and a little bit of a mustache as well. So here we go. And I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't super expensive. I know, and I also was, I did that. It's not right now part of the hole. I also got some Brickling hole uh, for, for the Lego, Lego blue torsos from one of the Lego Imperial kind of uh, uh, fortress sets. So this should be coming in as well. Those are coming out to be a little cheaper than the United, United Bricks, but United Bricks does a really good job with the, with the print quality and everything like that. And hopefully they will restock the, the, the full figures themselves as well. I also end up picking up one of the zombie fix. <laughs> and I don't know what's up with the zombie line. I mean, it's, it is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and maybe give it a little bit of closer look at this guy. All right, so here we go. We have it on the stand. Uh, it's kind of interesting concept <laughs> with the zombie stuff. I'm not so much was interested in, in, in the fact that it is zombie. I do like the printed cappy or whatever the, the hat that, it, that the, the soldier has, but I was more interested. I'm probably going to remove the, the face completely. Uh, it's definitely not something that the look I was going for, but I do like the damaged body. So I was thinking, okay, maybe if, you, if you're going to have a little bit of battle scene, this minifig could work out very nicely as, you know, kind of... Uh, Unfortunately, dead, dead soldier, right? Uh, but not not for the purposes of, I guess, the United Bricks, what they want me to do and just have it as a zombie. Yeah, not interested in the zombie part, but maybe as a battle damage kind of minifig, I think that's a, that's a really cool idea. All right, let's go ahead and pop open uh, this envelope and see what's inside of this guy. So to no surprise, this is pretty much a Brickazimo with Brickmania stuff. At the moment, we can have a look at the Confederate officer. So I'll go ahead and pop this guy open and see what he looks like. All right, so here we go. We have a Brickmania Confederate officer. Let's go ahead and have a closer look. I like the print on the sleeve. 
Very well done. The sword. A little pouch in the back. Same thing on the other arm. And it is a perfect caliber revolver right here that he's holding his arms. So very nicely done. I do like the details on his pants. And it comes with a 3D printed hat. And there's a print on top of there as well. I think this is the, the cavalry print or something like that. Yeah, I'm definitely collecting Brickmania, Confederate, and just generally Civil War minifix. So really nice, good addition to my collection. Really happy about that. So let's go ahead and move on. Move on, let's see what else I have here. Well, let's go ahead and even look at this envelope, what else I got here. Okay, so I did get a waste kind of can. A liquid colors. So there's a liquid colors in here as well. So go ahead and have a look. What kind of liquid colors we're talking about. Okay, so this is... So you put actually this liquid in here like this. You basically put uh, like that piece inside. So it goes through here. So you have that liquid, scary, radioactive cautious. Oh my God, all this uh, scary stuff in here. So here we go. We have this in canister. And then I guess you gotta put the lid on top of the canister. So here we go. So got this one as well, uh, picked up. Okay, so here we, uh, we have some ammunition. We have some shells. Um, ammo shells that I was expecting and this is for our flag the flag gun that I have for the anti-air for World War II German so they have a special artillery pieces for those so finally got those 88 millimeter shells which is very nice okay happy to have those added as well and maybe some couple other smaller things that I, I think I might have got for the, for the Russians for the Ruskies or something but let's go ahead and move forward and open up this envelope before we get to the big stuff, I think that's pretty much it. So what we have here. Okay, so we have some brick soldier stuff all the way from Switzerland. And this is their brick soldiers advertisement. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. I just got a few things. And uh, there's a reason why I picked those up. Mostly is that I was getting a TMC hole, which is not here yet. And the TMC hole would have those, whatever they call the this Marines, the German World War II Marines, uh, Kriegsmarine, here we go. Uh, and then I wanted to get uh, cappies because those were not available on a TMC, but uh, they are available on Brick Soldier. So I was able to get that. And I got the officer's cappy right over here. So pretty happy about that. I guess that's a freebie. I don't think I picked up any of the 9, 1911s. Uh, and this is also a freebie. So very nice Stolhem freebie. Thank you from to uh, Brick Soldier. And we have Brot, 0.5 meters. So I did this just in case, you know, I want to uh, have some kind of mock, essentially, maybe Battle of Narva, if this, this ever happens. And uh, the poster right here, which just says, Nibaltai, uh, don't don't talk. That's that's my problem. I talk a lot. So there. So basically, definitely, this this message is for me. Stop talking so much. And then the last thing I think for Brick Soldier was really cool. And I kind of hope, I wish I could have opened this together with the TMC hole. Let's see actually the back of it. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, interesting the way they did it. But then, yeah, this is definitely 3D printed. So they used raisin and then I think they painted, maybe hand painted, or maybe printed it on top afterwards. So yeah, well done. Kind of an expensive side. I think it was like close to nine euros or nine dollars for this. And I got this harmonica, which is also, I think, pretty cool. And uh, it's supposed to fit to uh, minific hands. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we have this Russian uh, officer right here. So give him harmonica. Let's see if it fits. It should fit, I think, because that's what I, at least I saw in the picture. Okay, so you, you do put it just one hand. Okay, so here we go. And we have our uh, Brick Soldier 3D printed harmonica. Very cool. I like the small little details that Brick Soldier does. I do recommend them. Again, not cheap. I think what they have to do is they have to 3D print and then maybe hand paint this. So this was close to 10 euros, $10 as well, but it does look amazing. Look at this detail, awesome. So yeah, I'm actually quite quite pleasantly surprised how, how good this stuff came out. All right, so uh, moving on, let's get to the big boys. We have a couple boxes here. Uh, some stuff I'm definitely looking forward to. Let's go ahead and pop the Bracesimo box. All right, so let's see what we got from Brukesimo. And in our Soviet vibes, as we got our harmonica guy, 
we're going to continue with that with World War II, Soviets or the Russians, and we have Gus Triple A. Just pretty pumped about this kit. This is a Black Friday haul. Uh, this stuff was, I think, on 10% sale. Um, and also coming with that, I end up getting this right here, which is the field kitchen. So just I dumped the other stuff in here as well. Um, uh, the field kitchen, I think, will, will go very nicely together with the uh, Gauss AAA, so definitely a uh, good combo, and I really was happy that those came back in stock on Brokizimo. And a few other things, uh, I guess we got the freebie, as per usual, from Brokizimo. They do send you a bunch of, kind of like, this brick arms that, you know, in the funky colors, which, oh, those are actually not bad. Getting those in tan, and, and this green stuff is actually in black. You, you, you're lucky. <laughs> you can count yourself lucky. And also got myself a micro build, and I, I'll show you exactly why I got the micro build later. So let's hold this off. So we got, again, all the Russian stuff, all the Soviet stuff. So we are in the in, in the genre. And then also I got uh, this guy right here, which is World War II, US Armor Artillery, also micro build. So we have a couple of those micro builds. Um, and then we have one tile pack, which is the Soyuz mission. Once again, we keep the keeping on this Kami. We keep keep going on this Kami wave. Um, so here we go. We got uh, this stuff here. A few things relate to my Napoleonic era stuff that you you saw the torsos and everything. So this will go together. I, I was needing uh, needing those bayonets and then U clips. So this is also uh, good to have. Let's see. And I think lastly in this one box that. Again, back to Napoleon era stuff is so we, we need these muskets. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Get that Ruski guy, man. Let's get this Soviet captain. See, man? Really Soviet haul this time around, which I'm pretty happy about. And then the big reason, again, it was on sale. And on top of that, I think this kid is going to be retired or is retired. So I feel like this is probably a good time to get this. All right. Lastly, our final boss. Just kidding. Our final box is going to be here. And this is something I was kind of very much intrigued. I've heard of this uh, company. It's not Brickmania, but it's kind of related to Brickmania, kind of related to the military stuff. They're called Brick Mini. So maybe some of you heard of them. They had a Kickstarter. So I'm trying to explain what it is before I pop it open. So let me go ahead and get this invoice out as well. And then I'm trying to dump it all here. And let's see, let's see what this is all about. All right, nicely packaged. Again, at the moment it looks like a mess, which it kind of is. But so this brick mini, I was kind of intrigued. Again, I'm always interested in trying new stuff. <laughs> and here it is. So what they do is they do a nano scale or like really small, small scale, actually on, almost on par uh, to this micro scale um, Brickmania stuff that the Brickmania is releasing for the, for the game. I think they have a board game or some kind of game that you're using this for, uh, but they do and uh, this Brick Mini company is doing very similar things. So here we go. So we have those little nano soldiers and I'm going to make a separate video on those. I'm going to unpack it, have a closer look and here we have a Tiger Tank that goes with this. They have other kits also available, which I didn't pick up all of them, but I picked up the stuff that I was most interested in. So we have a Sherman tank as well. And then this is a Brookmanian kit. I think they made a custom kit um, just for this company. So again, Brookmanian kit, but custom made for Brick Mini. I know lots of brick words in here. Maybe a little confusing, but anyways, yeah, not sure what exact scale this is. Maybe somewhere in the instructions that explains but probably 100, 1 to 100 or 1 to 100 something. And then we, here we have uh, the C-47 Dakota, uh, which is the Skytrain. And then, of course, then the glider will go very nicely together with that. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole. I'm really pumped about all the stuff that came in. Definitely looking forward to getting those built. Hopefully some of the stuff can get built live. I think this Gus is going to be built live. Next live build is for sure one of my anticipate i mean i something i didn't expect is definitely one of the surprise kits that i was i, I thought i would never see we're now gonna get it built but here we go i finally got it so yeah this next build for me live so yeah thank you anyways for checking out my uh, my black friday haul essentially so yeah have have a happy holidays thanks for tuning in uh, stay safe stay good catch you catch you maybe in this year maybe next year take care
Peace. Bye for now.